Hello and welcome back to the Birds and Bugs SMP. I'm Animus J and I've been working on our little bird cage. So zooming out here you can see we've got our nice little bed with a couple now these are plants but they're also food. I don't know that I can eat sugarcane but we also have a chest system and this is meant to be sort of like a perch which um, it, uh, it's actually so that I can reach the chest at the top, which is still quite difficult given the perching system. You can see I also added a bottom to our cage, and that is where we are growing. Da 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 da! Crops! Yes! I don't actually need wheat. Um, I need the seeds. I'm, yes, I'm growing wheat so that I have seeds to eat. We are eventually, soon, hopefully, going to work on getting villagers. And there are some people who have already acquired a couple villagers, but we have to do it the hard way. You have to find a zombie villager, and then you gotta get a witch to throw the right potion so that you can convert them. Don't know that I'm up for that task yet, but I'll tell you what task I am up for, and that is building the automatic chicken farm at spawn for our carnivorous friends, because with the lack of vanilla mobs spawning, it's quite difficult for them to get any kind of food, and most of them eat raw meat. So I'm going to gather up some supplies and in the meantime you can watch this clip showing where and how I got this 12 nether quartz. Hey aggro chicken. Aggro chicken. She called you aggro chicken. Hey, yep. hey, you calm down. <laughs> Wait, chicken. maybe he is a chicken. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> aggro chicken. <laughs> Those are partridge eggs. They lay partridges. They just look very similar to chickens. That's all. I haven't seen any partridges though. They're hiding. They're hiding. They're hiding. <laughs> They're waiting for their time to to rise. Yeah, if, oh if it so took much. him so long to get here, we gotta get a lot of quartz for him. Yeah, how much are you wanting? Uh, I mean, like ten to twelve uh, would be good to, to, to get me started on my projects. Qu quartz. Yes. Or stacks. Yes, quartz. Quartz. Oh, I mean, I'll take 10 to 12 quartz. I just don't think six <laughs> emeralds is worth that many stacks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hero, back up. Yeah. Behave. Well, I get. Okay, okay, okay. It's so big. Okay, perfect. Thank you, <laughs> Yo, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. We should mention the foot race, possibly. We we could ring up the foot race. We could. We could. Yeah, yeah. I am going to be building a foot race for you two because there has been a rivalry going on over who's faster. And that's Small the only rivalry. It's me. <laughs> it'll be it'll be fair. I'll try and make parts where she has to crouch and parts where you have to jump. You know, I'll make yes, it yes, pretty yes. equal. We have an interesting issue here. The redstone is done. It's insanely simple to build this thing as it is, but especially when you're not doing the lava, it's even easier. However, the problem is that my little chickens will fit very happily within this half block and not take any kind of suffocation damage at all, which means we have to wait for entity cramming, which is not ideal because then it could kill the baby ones before they grow up and we won't get any meat. So I think what we need to do is take the dispenser. If I put my eggs inside of the dropper and then have the dropper hatch them, which I guess I'll make a lever because that seems like the potentially fastest way. Okay, yes, we got a normal we got normal sized chickens. Okay, now it's gonna be really hard to count this way, but that's fine because we're in the spawn chunks. So we aren't this thing's gonna be running constantly. And we are now down to zero chickens because I had to break the dispenser. <laughs> Uh, and replace the dispenser block and they all they all got out. So um, yeah, be free Little baby chickens. I, I, I can't I can't recollect them. It's not gonna happen So I guess we're gonna do all this again and There it is a slightly off colored chicken <laughs> White terracotta is not exactly white is it but that's okay when we have better resources we'll come out and change it out because we also need to change out this block, which actually I think we can do this one. Oh, please, please don't. Okay, good, we can. Um, it is going to be a bit before the chickens are old enough to actually start laying their eggs. 
um, and and getting some food growing. But this is in the spawn chunk, so it should be running 24/7 essentially. I'll come back in a little bit and check on it. And once we have enough materials to build a piston, we'll swap that block out as well. We are now in the forest just outside of our house. And if you listen, I made some friends. So there are no villages and therefore no villagers in this world. I have been running around this forest forever waiting for dudes like this to spawn. And look at it, we got a librarian and a farmer. And if we look at our mini map over in this direction, yep, there he is, I see him. Let's maybe take care of this creeper really quick. Hi, come to me please. I'm so fast that I can just run and hit the creeper and run away. Okay, where is this guy? Oh no, is he inside of the tree? Oh, ow! Oh, there he is. Okay, found him. I put down water. Is this water gonna catch him? Yes, the water will catch him. Oh, oh, oh! Oh no, but not if he does that. Okay, he's okay, he's okay. He's mostly okay. Into the boat, sir, please. Into the boat. Oh, yes. So we are going to adventure into the nether. And I thought that we could make an attempt at um, enchanting our chest plate. <laughs> so you can see our armor is not in great condition. Blast protection. Oh, man. Okay. I'll Honestly, I'll take it. I'll take the blast protection. Okay, and for pants, we get protection one. It looks like I don't. I don't want knockback. Will this reset if I if I break it? Will it reset? Is that a thing? No, it is not. Okay, we'll we'll take the sharpness then. Yeah, sharpness one. Better than nothing. Okay, this feels like a disaster waiting to happen. Oh yes, it is. Look at that. Oh, so satisfying, but also so scary because that could have been us <laughs> if I wouldn't paid attention, guys. I just clicked the wrong button and threw my sword into the lava. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. I am such an idiot. <laughs> we just made that sword. <laughs> no. Wait. Wait. I think this... I think this melts down into gold. Scythian stock block. I think it does. Um... I can make bamboo out of it? It does, it smelts into gold nuggets, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, but I think I need, I think I need this. And I can't get it. Oh, without, how do, how do I get this uh, without a silk touch? Oh no. Guys, I've been flying for so long. And I've not seen a single blaze, but I'm told this is the biome that is capable of spawning them. It's like a honey something biome. Ember bog. Um, notice this, it's like honey-ish kind of stuff. I really wish I had silk touch. I'm gathering what I can and just putting it all in the backpack. Um, but without being able to get the, the special netherrack for these things, I don't think that we're gonna be able to grow them yet. Over here, uh-huh. He better drop a blaze rod. He better drop a blaze rod. <gasps> no, 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 get out of the lava. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're okay. I think that was lag, but I'm okay with that. Oh, that was so scary. Slow fall is, is, uh, is dangerous here. We have multiple blaze. I'm just waiting to heal so that I can go try and kill them. Go be careful. Stop flying, no, <laughs> why? Why is this so dangerous? Oh, there's lava everywhere. Okay, come down here, come to me. No, 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 no. There's so much lava everywhere. Get out of the lava, please. Please get out of the lava. I need the blaze rod from you. It's not gonna drop if you're in the lava. I'm holding crouch. I am holding crouch. Okay, that's one, but I don't think he gave me a blaze rod. No. 
No blaze rod. You get out of the lava! There we go. Ah, come on. Again. Yes! 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 Finally! Okay, I have found a larger area of the biome that they spawn in, and I've gotten pretty good at aerial battle. <laughs> Here's one. Boom. Fly away, turn around, and boom. Okay, let's see. Did he drop anything for me, though? Uh, no, it does not, does not look like it. The drop rate is a problem. I've actually killed, like, five of them now. Uh, but we only have two blaze rods, which is enough, but I would like to get at least one more. Oh, we gotta be careful here. And whack. And whack. Oh, he set me on fire. Okay, did we get a rod? No, no blaze rod. Dang it! Oh my goodness, there's a blaze rod right here. I, I don't know if it's one that I did earlier and didn't see it, but there it is. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. We can finally get out of here now. That is, I am satisfied with that. That is, that is enough. I finally have all the materials together. The potion has already been brewed up. I have three golden apples and I think we can get them all with one potion. Let's give this a shot here. Okay, that even got me. So, one. Oh, oh, what is going on right now? <laughs> Two, three. Okay. Oh, oh, we're lagging out. There we go, we did it guys. Three villagers. Oh, can you believe it? <laughs> We have villagers. Now, I believe that I can, hold on, let me take my torch out of my hand. I, yes, I can. I can pick them up and I can now just put them where I want them to be. So these three are gonna have to be multi-purpose. They're gonna be both for trading, for getting emeralds. We're gonna need certain things out of them. And then we also need them to be breeders. So, yeah, I'm gonna go get an area set up and then I'll bring you guys in to show what I come up with. We are joined by Vandal, Vandal the Vulture. Right, you're a vulture? Yep, okay. vulture indeed. Because um, Vandal was just at the point of being ready to make a villager breeder when my dudes, we found out they did when, for whatever reason, um, they stood out of the bed and suffocated and died. <laughs> So Vandal, who was just ready to build a breed a breeder, has brought um, villagers over, and then um, yeah, we'll, we'll go from here, kind of pooling all of our, our our sources right now. We are here at spawn because our chicken cooking machine is experiencing technical difficulties. Um, I came by the other day and opened this door and about 50 chickens came running out. And then you can see that there's dead chicken here, there's dead chicken there. I honestly believe what's happening is that we are lagging. Um, that the lag from the dispenser shooting into the slab is creating problems. Because you can hear chickens getting hurt sometimes when an egg launches and that's not normally a thing so I'm going to try to continue watching this and making adjustments to it because we want to make sure that we're not creating any type of lag but we received a message from Jazz who says she has a friend for us what is that <laughs> the elephant <laughs> He's gonna step on me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. They're, Please don't hurt massive. me. Can I ride on you? I want, I want to ride on Oh, nope. Can't ride on him. <laughs> <laughs> you can right click the giraffes for some reason, but it doesn't seem to do anything. I mean, you can feed them to a hay bale and breed them, get a baby uh -huh. them, but other than that, you can't do anything with them. I see, I see. Okay, is this the, f the friend you say that you have f for me? A, a chicken that's bigger than me? <laughs> <laughs> Is that baby a baby? Than you? Yeah. Oh my goodness. 
Is this one that you hatched? Uh huh. <laughs> oh man, look at this baby chicken. Oh yeah, yeah. That's an that's an adult sized chicken. If I if I if I'm the one who lays it. Yeah, I thought so. Which my chicken um, cooker at spawn, I uh -huh. had to I had to hatch all the eggs from a dispenser, <laughs> because <laughs> otherwise they would be too tiny, to um. To, to suffocate into the block like they're supposed to and die. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I called it. It was on the other side of the poachers. Oh, nice. We both run so them. fast, it's so easy to get out of range of each other. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I <laughs> literally go. fit underneath it like I without <laughs> ducking. I am like the height of its belly. <laughs> that is oh ridiculous. Gosh. Hold on. I, I need to get And it's this. funny when it lays the eggs because they're big eggs too. I accidentally hit. Okay, watch. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> you just disappear. That's great. You're just like hide. Okay, I got it. And when and since we don't have name tags, like I can literally just hide in places, and nobody would know that I was you there. You totally can. Hero. Um, You're so big. You don't even fit on your bed. I I know. <laughs> Hero was hiding behind the chest yesterday. It's kind of funny. I think if I fly just right... Yeah, yeah, I can get under the bed. Are you there serious? We go. Oh my gosh, you're under the bed. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Like, pop out and scare someone when they try to go to sleep. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Moving on, though, finally getting to the end of the episode, I built a swing inside of our birdhouse. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know if I said it, but I don't want to do too much with the chisels and bits mod. I'll probably do a little bit, but not not too much. I, d I don't want to get crazy with the chisels and bits stuff, um, just so that you guys know. But we do finally have villagers breeding. Yay! <laughs> So I AFK'd all night and got nothing, literally nothing out of these guys. And I realized this dude was being greedy. So we removed him, put the other one in, and then I changed the bed configuration around a little bit. And now if we look down here, we have plenty of extra villagers coming in. So that's Perfect. In between episodes, I am going to get a couple of villagers going as far as traits. And then in the next video, because we have so many villagers, I would like to get a specific farm going. And let's see if you can guess which farm that is down in the comments. Now, not all of these villagers are ours. We do, of course, have to share with Vandal, who so generously contributed to the effort. This is, this is teamwork right here <laughs> between me and Vandal. So, um, down in the description, I should have the links to everybody's channel that's on this SMP. Go check them out. I don't know who's posted videos at this point and who hasn't. Some of them are Twitch, some of them are YouTube. Let me know what you think of the style of these videos so far. I'm trying to mix in building and progress with shenanigans and fun with friends. And I, it's going to take me a little bit to get down, you know, kind of a routine, but I think we're getting there. Let me know what you think, though, of course. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. That's it for today, though, guys. I'm Animus J. I'll see you next time.